Well, hi there. Colin M.A.K. The Tone Wizard here, and I hope you're doing very well wherever you may happen to be. I happen to be in Australia on a lovely holiday with my wife, and I could not happen to be doing any better. I'm pouring a very delicious Australian beer that I found from 612 Brewing. It's some kind of West Coast IPA, which is what I drink. I'm from the West Coast of Canada, and I think the West Coast of North America is where this kind of malty, dark, uh, seven, late, high six, seven percent uh, beer came from. I don't know, but this is damn good. I, that's as deep as I'm going to fucking look into it, because this is goddamn delicious. Cheers. I hope you're doing very well, as I said. So... I'm on vacation, but I thought I would have time to squeeze out a little video. And it's a video that I've been meaning to wake a while. I've been doing these what the fuck videos on my channel. They're kind of about interesting, unusual, shocking, and uh, some downright funny shit that I've found. Um, videos on YouTube, usually featuring some of my favorite artists. Um, I've done one on Lou Reed, the time he performed with Conan O'Brien, Adam Sandler, David Spade, Jimmy Kimmel, and Jack Black. You can check that on the channel. And I, I did one on uh, the Allman Brothers and the short-lived guitar player that they had in their band. So do check those out. But um, in the previous video that I did um, with Lou Reed and the comedians um, performing uh, at the charity benefit, go check that out. Um, a user named Antenical, who's a regular contributor to the channel and a guy who also has his channel, he mentioned that I should check out uh, an unusual performance indeed. And it features none other than the remaining members of Led Zeppelin at their Hall of Fame induction. I believe the drummer playing at this show was one of Robert Plant's touring, uh, touring musicians. Mike, I think, was his name. And it also features, for some reason, Neil Young on the guitar. So it's their induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1995. Um, I had no idea that this existed, but now that I've seen a portion of it, I'm glad it does. And I'm gonna watch the rest of it with you right now. I haven't seen this full thing. And uh, we're gonna see what's going on because Antenical kind of alluded to the fact that it may not be their best performance collectively or individually. And I've also kind of skimmed through the video just a little bit and I saw that at one point, Robert Plant is playing guitar on stage with Jimmy, Plant, uh, Jimmy Page and Neil Young. So we're going to find out what that's going to sound like. And let, let's get right into this because I'm looking forward to watching this. Um, I've been busy enjoying my holiday. haven't had a lot of time to make videos, but this one was number one on the list. And if you've got many, anything you want me to check out on the channel, please do send it my way. It doesn't have to be shocking. It could just be cool. I will watch anything once. So this is Led Zeppelin with Neil Young performing at their Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductions in 1995 on the tone 98.5. <laughs> You probably got two of the best, like, outright classic rock players of all time on the stage with uh, Jimmy and Neil. And you've also got guys who make very distinctive postures and faces. Jimmy's got that upright, very long arms, low guitar. And we've got Neil who's always kind of hunched over. And So I guess this is when the levee breaks. The Neil version. It's funny, Robert Plant's lost his voice at various times, but it sounds pretty good here so far. I can understand why some people might not be into this. It's pretty muddy. John Paul Jones always looks like he could be at a Renaissance fair and not look out of place. Pretty elegant man. <laughs> At some point in every Neil Young guitar solo, Neil's gonna get, try to get the guitar to say, Neil, 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 Neil. And I'm sure it's gonna happen.
There it is, right on cue. <laughs> Asked for a guitar and somebody's plugging them in. <laughs> Got a guy handing him a pick. Jimmy looked kind of amused there when Robert went for the guitar, I have to say. <laughs> me if Neil was playing the guitar or trying to drown a man to death on the beaches of Peleliu. I would say either one. Where are the rest of them? There's Neil Wangmar on that big speed. He's got the uh, Bill Murray hair from Kingpin pulling around there. what Jimmy Page just realized here during, during this performance. Robert's kind of strumming away there. Some kind of triad he's got going. Dialing it in. Whoa, whoa, Neil, whoa. Something happened in here. What it is ain't exactly clear. There's a man with a gun over there. So these are the lyrics to a Buffalo Springfield song. I've got to be I think I saw in the comments. Somebody said that he was making fun of the performance there, but that's a, those are lyrics from Buffalo Springfield, which Neil Young was a part of. If you see Neil's pedal board, that big red thing, 
It's a solid steel switcher unit that he has. If you've never looked into Neil Young's pedal board, you, you should check it out. I think there's a rig rundown on it. Robert's playing nothing there. He's got all the strings. Okay, well, here's the thing. I, I don't think that was as bad as, as maybe I, I had been led to believe it was going to be. And Tentacle, I'm looking at you, man. Um, thank you for the suggestion. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed it because of, of what it is, um, not because of what it could be. Because, it, you know, it could have been the greatest jam of all time. It definitely wasn't that. But those guys were having fun, and you know, if you've ever been a musician yourself, you'll recall a time um, early on, and when you start jamming with people, that you just you just pound away on two chords. Um, so was it a, a faithful rendition of when the levee breaks? Well, you've got the two guys on stage that wrote it, um, the bass player John Paul Jones. Um, I think he was involved in that as well. Um, obviously, the drummer's dead. He was a big part of that song with those big reverberated drums. But I think that that's kind of a throwback to when you just get together with people and maybe you're a little stoned and you had a couple of beers and you're young and you just riff away on two chords and you have the best time of your life. That's look, that looked to me like what Neil was doing. And I don't know if Jimmy thought it was going to go that way, but once he realized that this is what that was, um, he kind of went with it. And with regards to the Buffalo Springfield lyrics, which they definitely were, um, I, I think Robert Plant used to do that. I think if you watch the song Remains the Same, there's a huge drawn out version of uh, uh, Dazed and Confused, I think it is. And in the middle, he, he speaks the, the line, if you're going to San Francisco, be sure you wear some flowers in your hair. It's a line from another song from the, the 60s and, and they weave it in there and it's kind of like a, 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 music, a, a lyrical jam that he's kind of doing. So I enjoyed that. I didn't think it was terrible. It had some rough moments, but I don't think there was a lot of rehearsal there. And I think when, when the idea was broached to Jimmy and Robert, do you want Neil to join you? Or if Neil said, hey, I'll play, of course they took the opportunity. Who the fuck wouldn't take the opportunity? Neil Young could butcher one of my songs any goddamn day of the week he likes. Um, and I think that there were some nice moments in there. They were feeling their way out. So I enjoyed that. That was cool, but I had no idea that existed. Now, I think it'd be nice to take a look at some of the comments here. Um, so... Jimmy Lapog says John Paul Jones always the coolest, always the coolest musician in the rock and roll. Uh, um, sentence is a little bad there, but he's a fan of, of John Paul Jones. And this guy kind of says the same thing that I'm saying. Mark C says really amazing how many people don't get it. Raw, powerful, impromptu jam session, which is what it was. And it just so happens that those guys are super famous, and they're at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So their jam, your your shitty jam, and my shitty jam in the jam space or in the garage. Nobody ever has to hear that. We think it's the greatest thing we've ever done. And nobody ever hears it, so nobody ever disagrees. In this case, there are thousands of people watching it, and many of us watching it after the fact. Um, and this guy, Majestic7, says, um, You can't imprison music in a box. It was wonderful the way that it let Neil pour his soul in honor of the great Zepp. Nicely done. And I liked it. And... Uh, this person says he gets a guitar, she said gets a guitar, everybody gets a guitar. And there was one comment that I saw here that I thought was kind of funny. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, so here, here's the comment. Samurai says, when the tuner breaks, Zeppelin's still going to play. Which is a cheap jab, but I did enjoy that one I saw. So, 
And Tentacle, thank you for sending them to me that way. I do disagree with you. I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was as, as bad as as perhaps you alluded to. It's not it's not a Hall of Fame performance uh, in with respect to what those guys are capable of or what they've done. But in terms of these guys that we all love getting on stage and just hammering it out, it was funny. And you get to see those moments where, where Jimmy Page is just kind of like, okay, well, this is happening. And Robert grabs the guitar and he plays that one little triad chord and then pretends to play it for the rest and dances around with Neil. That's cool, man. I love those guys. I love all these guys. And um, we're losing a lot of these guys. And you're probably never going to see something like that ever again. So I'm glad I saw it. I'm glad that it happened. So anyways, if there's anything you'd like me to check out on my channel, uh, whether it's weird or a what the fuck worthy or just a, a simple reaction or some music, please send it my way. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe and like the video. And most important of all, take very good care of yourself because you never know how many fantastic beers you have left to drink. Peace.